Well, I guess there's a first time for everything right there. You can see them right behind me. That is correct. I will be doing a 40 foot container as a non CDL hotshot. That's uh, that's gonna be super, super interesting. So I just booked this load. It's going from, um, where was it? It's going from Tacoma, right? We're in Tacoma and it's going to Boise, Idaho. I think based on what I see on the addresses, it's like somebody trying to do like a container home um, because that's really cool right now. By the way, sorry for the hair, it's a mess. I need a haircut. Maybe I should go put on my hat. All right, how's that? Okay, so, and it's going to somewhere in Boise, Idaho and check this out. It's like 500 miles and some change and it's paying an $1,100. So uh, it's gonna be really interesting. I'll keep track of the MPG in this video, but first things first, let's wait for some of these trucks right here, these trucks right here behind me. Let's wait for them to get out of the way and we, so we can get loaded. Okay, so a couple things. First and foremost, uh, total rookie noob mistake. My deck was not totally clear. Um, here's some really shaky footage of me running out and grabbing the tarp off the back of my trailer because that's where I keep my tarps all the way on the very, very back. And so that was a total rookie mistake, my fault. But hey, we're, we're loaded now, so it's good. You can see right there, here's the whole thing. Very, very cool. First container. Uh, I might think it's cool until I realize what my MPG is, but that's beside the point. So right here is the first chain. I'm putting one this way and I'll put this one this way. And so what you want to do is you want to grab your little bar, right? And on your bar, you want to, <laughs> right here, you want to like that, put it. And so this way it's holding the hook, right? And so then you want to shove it in there and grab it from the other side because or else trying to do it by hand, you'll barely reach or you won't reach at all. And so that's why you want to get this bar so you can throw it in more than halfway so then you can reach it from the other side. So that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Obviously that's not the only securement that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do straps as well. Uh, I'm gonna throw probably four straps over the thing. Um, this guy's backing up behind me so. Uh, but anyways, so, but it, the, only, the only thing is he didn't really quite, um, you can maybe see right here, he didn't quite put it right in the middle of my trailer, so there's more room on this side than there is, this is a passenger side. So there's more room on the passenger side than on that side. Um, and so you can see I already did the first one. But what that means is because there's more room on one side, you wanna put your um, your ratchets and your uh, binders on the side that has more room because the goal is to never have anything stick out past your rail. So. Anyways, uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty nerve wracking, honestly. Anyways, let's throw this thing in there and uh, throw some straps and then get out of here. Now, obviously when you're on top of the container, you wanna be careful, um, but the main reason is you wanna come up here. When you throw the straps over like I just did, they don't necessarily always come, you know, they don't always fly over straight. So you wanna make sure when you're looking down, I know this is a little bit nauseous, but when you're looking down, you wanna make sure that it lines up. You wanna make sure it's nice and flat. Give half a twist over there, and then you know it's coming straight, so you only need to do half a twist when you're gonna ratchet it on this side. So now we can get down, because I have did how many straps did I put? One, two, three, four, five straps, two chains. I think that's more than enough. All the straps are done. The last thing that's left is to tie up any loose chain that there's left. You wanna put a bungee on it so it's not falling off your trailer. So let's go do that. All right, so there it is, I'm done. My first 40 foot container, check it out. Well, read it in a week, boys. 23,620 pounds. 
That's awesome. You would think this container is made out of aluminum or something. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I'm impressed. Pretty light, legal on the axle, legal on the drives, legal all over, okay? That's how we do it. 1,100 buckaroos on like 520 miles or something like that. So anyways, I gotta go inside the pilot, get some food, and let's hit the road. Uh, I still have plenty of fuel, so all, what I'll do is I'll just fill up in at the next truck stop and then i'll start my mpg um count whatever i'll keep track of my mpg after i fill up okay all right well i'm at the pilot in ellensburg washington um, i think it's a newer pilot because everything does seem pretty new the parking lot looks really good um, and it's really windy and cold much colder than it was just like literally an hour ago in seattle so anyways i just filled up and i did the tfl 30 second you know what i mean just to keep it somewhat consistent and i'll do that at the next pilot, which is in Oregon, that's where we're gonna stop. It's about 150, 160 miles away, I think like that. But I did my walk around on the truck or on the trailer. I made sure all the chains are good, all the straps are good. I touched my hubs so I know they're not getting hot. And at the end of the day, it is a container. I'm only at like 23 or 24,000 pounds or whatever it was. So it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna go inside quickly, get some food, and then let's test out what kind of MPG this Ford gets with a 40 foot container. Now here's the thing, if you go back in my older video, I did an MPG video with a 20 foot container and uh, like a load. Um, so let's see how it turns out with a 40 footer. But you know what's really cool? Right over there, I see a truck with a big old like decal or wrap and it's WTF, watch this freight. I follow them on Instagram. They always have like nice trucks and whatnot. So that's pretty cool seeing them up here. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go inside and get some food and let's see how good this truck does. All right, so I'm in Stanfield, Oregon, the pilot that I wanted to make it to. Uh, and so we can see the computer was saying about 7.3 miles a gallon, 157 miles. I'm filling up right now. And we're gonna do the same 30 second method. I got my phone right there. So as soon as it clicks, we're gonna start the thing. So uh, the truck did fine, honestly. It's kind of cool, so the temperatures weren't an issue at all. So we do 23.567 divided by what the dash says, 157.8 miles. And I re did reset it right when I was leaving that other truck stop, that other pilot, right, in, uh, in Ellensburg. And so 157.8, and that gives us a whopping total of a measly 6.69 miles per gallon. Uh, not not great to be honest <laughs> yeah i mean whatever you could round up call it seven which I, I which i literally think i got the same mpg with my 20 foot container i think it was right around there and again guys it's cruise control 70 miles the entire way okay the speed limit is 70 i'm setting it at 70 and i you know besides a couple of slowdowns for on ramps and off ramps and stuff like that that really i just went the whole way and so the computer says 7.2 but the actual phone calculator or calculated method says 6.69 so it's a little bit off and that's okay but keep in mind there's a, per, a couple of big passes over there on 82 and like a, when you're going down to yakima so there's a couple big ones over there um but in reality yeah, overall it's uh like it's a container what do you expect you know what i mean so i think if i did decide to slow down maybe just 60 no i don't know maybe 60 is too slow maybe 65 i don't know maybe that's what i'll do i'll do another 65 run from pilot to pilot maybe uh tomorrow no tomorrow i deliver the container uh darn it ah next time i guess the next day boys that's how it's done a 40 foot container that's gonna do it for this video i will see you guys in the next one peace